hello my dear friends welcome to my youtube channel today i am going to describe one dimensional array some points about array an array is a collection of items stored at contiguous memory locations here contiguous means item stored sequentially it store multiple items of the same type together that is it can store integer type values or floating time values or character type values but when it store it stores same type value together the memory location of the first element of the array is called base address the base value is index 0 the difference between the two indices is the offset suppose this is an array here 10 20 30 dot dot this is the element of the array and 0 1 2 3 4 this is the index of the array and 2 0 0 2 2 0 4 2 0 8 this is considered as memory address of the array and first address of the array is called base address in mathematically the array can be represented as a0 a1 a2 dot dot a n minus 1 here name of the array is same but difference is its index number which is represented as subscript that is a0 a1 a2 dot dot a n minus 1 in c language it is also written as a third bracket 0 a third bracket 1 a third bracket 2 dot dot a n minus 1 both syntax are same we write it in matrix is a0, A1, A2, but in C language, same things written as A third bracket 0, A third bracket 1, A third bracket 2, dot dot dot. So, the array defines in C language is int A third bracket size. Here, size defines that the total content of the array. Here, size is used to define the total number of elements it may contain. Suppose, we can initialize an array as int a third bracket equal to 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Here are five elements. Here the array contains some elements and the size of the array becomes 5. So we print the array as using for loop for i equal to 0, i less than 5, i plus plus. That is printed percentage d quotations a of i. It prints the value of 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Suppose there is an example. In this example, we have declared an integer array whose size is 5 and we define the value of i and n. n is the value which take the size of the array. Suppose we write it using the printer statement enter number of elements. We can take the number of elements using the scanner function and the values are stored in variable n. Then using for loop, we can take inputs one by one. Enter percentage the element that is i plus one. Scan it. Ampersand of i. Ampersand of i means it can take value with respect to par index. That is a zero contains. Suppose enter one element equal to ten. Enter two elements suppose twenty. Enter three element thirty. Enter four element forty. Enter five elements fifty. This is the easy way to take the inputs inside the array. And similarly, we can print the value of array that is for i equal to 0, i less than n, i plus plus, print a slash t percentage t a of i. Here slash t print the big space between two elements that is 10, 20 days in space, 20, 30 days in space, 30, 40 days in space. This space can be printed by slash t command and slash t also known as tab next there is another another examples in this examples we search the element present inside an array or not in previous programs we take the inputs in the array and we do the same things in this program that is we enter the enter number of elements 
that is scan a percentage b and person a enter elements again for i equal to 0 i less than n i plus plus here value of n we take it as 5 so loops are continue in uh, sorry five, uh, five times so enter percentage the element i plus 1 scan a percentage the ampersand of i when we write ampersand of i means it can take, take input as 10 20 30 40 50 now we can search the elements which is present inside this array that is 10 20 30 40 50 suppose our searching elements is 30 we, we stored the value 30 another variable of x now we check the value of x are present inside the array or not if it is present then our boolean variable flag is true true means once and we stop the process and if it is not present the boolean value flag is false if flag equal to true that is our element present inside the list we write it using flag uh, if statement that is if flag equal to equal to one that is element parseness d present in the list here value of x is 30 so 30 is present inside the array if flag is false then array is not present in next video we have discussed two dimension array thank you very much